port of Malacca, remains of some walls of the Portuguese Dutch fort in Malacca. Historically, a port city famed for its assortment of spices, UNESCO, Malacca, known as the land where winds meet, has a colorful history spanning over 600 years from its founding in the 14th century. To the centuries of colonization by the Portuguese, Dutch, and the British, come explore with me the unique wealth of architectural, religious, and cultural legacies that were assimilated and adapted to a melting pot of Asian cultures. Remains of some walls, Middlesbrough's bastion of the Portuguese Dutch fort in Malacca. These excavations are located near the former council restaurant, which still houses a part of the tourist information center. These excavations succeeded in revealing a part of the Portuguese fort built in 1512 and the 1550s. The Dutch added a square rectangle to the Portuguese structure in the late 1650s and 1670, naming it Middelburg. This can be seen from the top view and from the other ones. You can also note circular concrete beams protruding from the side. They are the remnants of a shell petrol depot built by the British in 1905. It was also discovered a huge sewage and water pipe dating back to approximately 1895. The city of Malacca was conquered by the Portuguese in 1511. Soon after the conquest of the city, which was the most important commercial port in Asia, Alfonso de Albuquerque built a fortress to defend the new Portuguese production. Okay, so first we insert the cannon through there, mm. and then we take a fuse. Mm. 
And boom! Akkada light up jaise the fuse ikkada. Ana kala ka. Here we light up the fuse. And, and the boom. ship go boom. What is left? Hi! Hi! Yep.
The first fort, Afamosa, was built by Thomas Fernandez and consisted originally of a tower and four floors, serving as the home to a captain of the city and surrounded by the wall. The first captain of Malacca, Rui de Preton Patalin, enlarged the structure by adding another floor to the tower. During the first years of Portuguese rule, it also served as a watchtower.
fortification from the 1560s proved ineffective against the artillery. For this reason, in 1564, a new stone wall surrounding the city began to be erected. Four years later, the wall was not yet complete and for most of its length was still in the wood. The works were completed by the end of the 16th century. The perimeter of the wall was then totaled to about 1,310 fathoms. Four main bastions were built, San Pedro, San Domingos, Santiago and Onze Milvergens. Four gates provided access to the fortified enclosure, one on each side, and at this time Afamosa became known as Fortelza Veja, forming a citadel within the walls of the city. In the early 17th century, the fortifications were improved with the addition of some ramparts. These new works of fortification, however, did not prevent the Dutch from conquering the city in 1641, after a siege lasting five months. After the conquest, the Dutch proceeded to strengthen the defense of Malacca by building new ramparts and reinforcing old ones. Seated in August 1795 by the Dutch to the British, the fort of Malacca was deemed by the new masters as too expensive to maintain and was subsequently demolished. Today, the remains of the fortification of Malacca are quite scarce. but in recent excavations have unearthed some parts of the ancient walls of the fortress. The main remain of the fortress is Porta de Santiago. This was one of the old gates of the city walls during the Portuguese period, which was severely damaged in 1641 during the Dutch siege and later demolished and rebuilt. Above the entrance are the symbols of Dutch East India Company, VOC, and the description of Anno 1670. 